It's me, Bucket Ponds, and today I wanted to show you uh, something I found on the side of the road. It's, just, it's a unique shape. Uh, they sell these at Walmart for like $16 or $15 or something like that. Uh, I've never said no to a free fish tank. You know, when I find them, it's hard to resist. Uh, but what we're going to do is clean all that up. Cleaning this up, cleaning up the tank, uh, removing all these extra plants, these things, the Chinese crap, waste of money. I'm thinking uh, a bladder snail tank and a detritus worm culture, also some ostracods. I like my ostracods, um, they're really easy to raise. Same thing with the bladder snails once you know what you're doing. So I think combining them together, maybe some sand in the bottom. Uh, some tubaflex worms, we can get them to take in here. We'll have uh, this light, and I'll also put a solar light on it, just a window. I'll keep it near a window, that way it gets a little extra boost from the sunlight. But yeah, let's get to it. First things first, replacing this bulb. Beautiful bright green char right here. And I'm just going to drop that right in there. That's full of snail eggs and live snails and all sorts of stuff. Just going to spread that out a little bit. Here's some more char, also called stonewort. And right here we have a couple uh, very healthy bladder snails. We're just going to drop them right in there. These guys will be the pioneer. Bladder snails are amazing. They're highly adaptable, they're, they're intelligent for what they are, and uh, they can be very beautiful in their own way. So our next step is uh, ostracods, seed shrimp. So I'll be right back with a uh, vial full of seed shrimp. Alright guys, uh, this is the mother load here. This should have tubaflex, detritus worms, ostracods, everything that we want, uh, cyclops and possibly a few other species, uh, micro rams, horn snails, all sorts of good stuff. I'm gonna throw it right in there. Uh, this is from my original detritus worm culture. And I'm gonna try to plant this down at the very bottom because I really want to get some detritus worms in this tank. That's my number one goal. This might not look like much, but this is floating leaf pondweed. It's a really thin, stringy little leaf plant that grows on top of bog mats and floating uh, mats of duckweed and things. And uh, I haven't really had any issues. I haven't intentionally tried to keep this plant. It just seems to grow really well in certain nano tanks, And that's what we want. So we're just going to put a good chunk in there. Help it colonize this new world. And uh, yeah, there we go. There we go, guys. This is... Hypnomoss, which will grow underwater. Uh, this batch here actually has grown underwater. I know I said I wasn't going to plant anything down low, but in this particular case, I'm going to plant it down 